Hello, my Capricorns. It's Maria, InsightfulAstrology.com, and welcome to September. This is a powerful month for you guys, and I do mean powerful, okay? You're not messing around in September. No way. You've got some serious mojo, some serious energy, and you are in the seat of your power this month. Trust me. So let's get started with why, astrologically, this is all happening. On the 6th, Saturn, your ruling planet, will turn direct. That, in and of itself, huge, huge. With Saturn direct in your sign, you are, you already were ready to take on a certain new responsibility in your life. But now that Saturn's direct, you're able to execute it. You're able to move forward with a strategic plan of action to achieve something really important in your life that gives you a greater sense of responsibility, of purpose, that actually gives you more authority and respect. It's a, it's a strong energy of authoritative, you know, like, like you are the wise person that people are looking to, looking up to, and really hold in high regard now for however this applies in your life. And you are taking that responsibility really seriously and you're, you're doing something wonderful with it, with Saturn now moving direct in your sign. Having Saturn in your sign only happens once every 28 and a half years or so, okay? So this is a, an extremely karmic time for you. Now, if it is conjunct your sun sign, Okay, early degree Capricorns, this will be for, because Saturn goes direct at around two, something like that, two degrees Capricorn. So if you are an early degree Capricorn sun arising, you've got, you've got Saturn exactly conjunct your sun for your ascendant. And typically, these are cycles of choosing to take on a major new path and responsibility, something that makes you more of a grown-up more of an adult, more mature and more respected. For some people, it's getting married, becoming a parent, starting a business. It is a, it's a big deal though, taking care of an aging parent maybe. It's, it's not a small thing, whatever this is for you. It could be a life-changing career move that you're now ready to make. I remember when I had, it's so funny, when I had Saturn conjunct my ascendant, I got married. When I had Saturn conjunct my son, I had my child, my first child. So you see how both instances, one was ascendant, the other was son. I took on a new responsibility and commitment that made me more of an adult. You guys are going through that right now, especially early degree sign of Capricorn or early degree of Capricorn. Absolutely. So now there's also on the ninth, a new moon in Virgo. And this new moon lands in your ninth house of higher education, big thinking, beliefs, publishing, advertising, broadcasting, the legal system. I know the ninth house is a, is a really big place. There's a lot going on there. Uh, but this new moon is making a perfect trine, nice harmonious aspect to Pluto, which is also in your sign, in Capricorn. So there's some powerful new beginning for you. Maybe you are deciding to go back to school to, to get an advanced degree, to get a certification or a license. Maybe you are pursuing a new spiritual path, either with organized religion or just your, your deep spiritual beliefs as a result of this lunation. But it's really positive for you. There's, there are no blocks. If, if you are in a situation where you need to initiate a lawsuit, please do so right after this new moon, 24 hours or so after this new moon, because you are in a really good position, very powerful position actually, to initiate any kind of legal proceeding because the ninth house does rule legal matters and that new moon is exactly trying, Pluto. Really good energy. See, astrology can be so practical. All right, uh, on the same day, guys, Venus, the planet of love, harmony, money, self-worth, enters your social sector, the 11th house. And this is typically a time where you enjoy the company of your friends more. You enjoy spending time with your tribe, your people. Uh, Venus here 
on a mundane level, if you are working on any kind of technology related project and you launch it, there's money here. There's money to be made here. Okay. If you are in a business, if you own your own business, the 11th house is the money that you make from your own business. So there's going to be more money for you as well. Very nice energy. I will tell you that Venus is going to go retrograde next month. And so I feel like next month there's some karmic issues happening in your social life and a readjustment maybe of, of your hopes and possibly something with, with love. But I'll save that for next month. For now, I am getting a straw, a sense of you guys enjoying the company that you keep, being very lucrative, actually, being very lucrative with some kind of technology related project. Uh, or again, I mean, I'm repeating myself, but uh, this could be a website, this could be a YouTube channel, this could be a podcast. Uh, a webinar, any kind of big social media campaign, anything. Broadcasting is huge for you guys this month, actually, because that new moon in your ninth house and then this energy in your 11th house, when the ninth house and the 11th house are, are moving and shaking in someone's chart, this is international reach. This is a big deal. This is large masses of people that you can reach with your particular message. So for those Capricorns who this applies to, understand that you're in a powerful position to spread your message in a very significant way this month. So now, in addition to this energy, we have Mars entering your second house on the 10th. And Mars is finally direct and moving forward. Mars was retrograde in this area of your chart in, from late June until mid-August. Now Mars is direct forward movement. I will tell you that there's a pretty good chance that you're going to have a major expense that aggravates you sometime between the 10th and the 18th, closer to the 18th, I would say, uh, when Mars and Uranus are square. Yeah, big expense. I mean, look, Mars in the second house is notorious for big expenses. And Yet the flip side of, of it is that when you have Mars in your second house, you're so ambitious and motivated to make money that, you know, you're not going to spend too much time enraged at whatever expense this is. You're just going to say, all right, next. And, you know, I'll tell you, somebody once told me when I was once upon a time, when I was much younger, that they loved getting bills in the mail. And, and I never forgot this because I've adopted this mindset and I want to share it with you while Mars is in your second house. So this person said to me, he loved getting bills in the mail. He would smile and write his checks out. And so I said, why? Why do you love getting bills in the mail? And he looked at me and he said, because it means I can pay them. What a powerful response, right? I mean, so many people get a bill in the mail and freak out immediately, or roll their eyes. Oh, I don't want my mail if it's bills, or I don't want this. Okay. But this person, his attitude was, bring it on. If I'm getting this bill, I can pay it. And I'm grateful that I can pay it. I've got this. It was such a, a self-assurance energy. And as a Taurus, I really appreciated that moment. It, it stuck with me and it's, I feel that all the time now when I pay bills, I never ever roll my eyes and have this negativity connected to the bill because that gives you anxiety. And then when you have anxiety about money, it puts you into a cycle of lack. This man's mindset was totally different. A mindset of, of conquering bills and abundance, right? And you guys have this energy now with Mars in your second house. So please do not stress out over your bills. You got it. All right. So now what else can I tell you about? There will be a, a bit of a tense full moon in your fourth house of home and family on the 24th. I, I'm getting this as distressing news from a relative that you feel a responsibility.
towards the relative or towards the situation, but at the same time, a frustration because there's nothing you could do about it. All right. And it sucks when that happens. It just does. It's a crappy situation to be in when you have to watch someone else go through pain or, or some kind of difficult patch in their own life. And really all you can do is be there. And that's what I'm feeling for you. It, it could be um, an ending for some of you to a literal home situation where some of you are moving. And if it is a move, it's probably a bit of a stressful move. I don't think any move is stress-free. But if you are moving during this full moon, it will be particularly challenging. So uh, you know, advise it if you can help it. If you have to move, you have to move. That's life. The good news is on the 30th, Pluto goes direct in your sign. So you are, again, like I said at the beginning of this video, you're really in, in the seat of your power. You're going to have Saturn and Pluto both direct by the end of the month in your sign. These are the two heavy hitters of the Zodiac where when they're working well together, oh my God, it's, it's, it's just, they, they build mountains, they move mountains. I, you can make anything happen with this energy. And with Pluto direct in your chart, you're a powerhouse. You just are a powerhouse, Capricorn. So I hope you make the most of your energy in September. I'm really excited for you guys. Some beautiful, beautiful opportunities, especially in communication, publishing, broadcasting. Oh my God, I love it. And in business and even money. Wonderful. Even though you'll have bills, you need money. It's there. I see it. All right, guys, until next month. Enjoy. I love you.